Okay, good evening, dear ladies. Let's this Bezrat Hashem that we will all have the school to greet Mashiach Tzidkan Barchamim Muim Bim Rabbi Amenu Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Eliyahu Tishbi Eliyahu Giladi Bim Rabbi Avon Mashiach David Eliyahu Nabi Zakhur Lato. And we we'll all have the school to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Shishi Bim Rabbi Amenu Amen. Ki Ayin Bayin Ruv Bishov Al Nei Tzion. Atat Akum Tarachem Tzion Ki Et Lechanena Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Benashuba Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. And when we all, Bezrat Hashem, have the schut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle, and when we all have party in Eretz Yisrael. Amen. And everything that we do is Amen. And everything is, is for Lilu Nishmat, all of the victims of the terrorists on, on uh, October 7th, on Simchat Torah, and all of the soldiers, עליהם אשר נותנים לשנות צורתיים, שנתם צורה בצורת חיים. ולילוי נשמת אנג'לה דינה בת גולצ'רה, עליה שלום תהיה שנתם צורה בצורת חיים. לילוי נשמת... עליה שלום תהיה שנתם צורה בצורת חיים. עליה שלום תהיה שנתם צורה בצורת חיים. ולילוי נשמת איילת בת גאולה, עליה שלום תהיה שנתם צורה בצורת חיים. The Rebbe of, 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 of Chaim Berlin and his mother, Alehem Ashalom, Tiddish, Mutam Tzorah B'Tzorah Chaim, Zutam Tegen Alehem Ashalom. And all of the Tzadikim, B'Tzadikot, and all of the, and all of them, Amen. And all of the um, souls that don't have anybody to say for them, Kaddish, may they, Bezrat Hashem, have the schut in all of the shurim, in everything that we do, Bezrat Hashem. Barchem Tare Machmetz, it kadecha tamid gabli. Okay, dear ladies, we are opening the year, Bezrat Hashem. And we are in Parashat Noach, last Shabbat, Shabbat Bereshit was, now it's Shabbat Noach. But this coming Shabbat, Shabbat Noach, we have two days of, of Rosh Chodesh. It's Friday and Shabbat, two days. So it's a big, it's a big thing that we have Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh. So dear ladies, um, I would like to give you, as usually we like to call Kedarkenu Bakodesh, the combination of the name of Hashem for the month of Cheshvan, Mar Cheshvan. So it comes from Parashat Kitavo, chapter 26, and it's Udvash Hayom Azeh Hashem, which means honey, today, this day, Hashem. And it starts with a, a, a initials, with a first letters of each word. So the combination for the month of Mar Cheshvan is the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei of Mercy, is the letter Vav, the letter He, I can't write over here He, because then I can wipe the board, and then another He, and then the letter Yud from Hashem, okay? And the name, and okay, no read it. So, and over here, the name of Hashem of repentance, it's the letter Yod, and then the letter He, but this I wrote Kuf, but it's He, and another letter He, and then the letter Aleph, okay? When do we concentrate? And the com concentrate, we don't say it out of our mouth, we visualize it. Why? Because Arizal says, why do the children of Israel pray and not always their prayers is answered? Because they don't know how to concentrate on the right combination of the name of Hashem. King David says in chapter 91, which means, because he knew my name, he calls me and I answer him. And I will give him salvation. So, we come to, and we can do it only on Musaf of Rosh Chodesh. So on Musaf of Rosh Chodesh, we have two days of Rosh Chodesh, Friday and Shabbat Bezrat Hashem. So on Musaf of Rosh Chodesh, Filat Shemona Yisra, we come at, at the middle of Filat Shemona Yisra, it's Baruch Ata Hashem, Mekadesh Yisrael, Barashir Chodeshim. Blessed are you Hashem that sanctifies the children of Israel on the first days of the month. So when we say, Baruch Ata Hashem, Everything's okay? When we say... Huh? No, it's okay. Okay. So, when we say Baruch Ata Hashem, then we pose, and then we concentrate on the letters and the right combination of the name of Hashem. You don't see it. We don't see it directly at the same time. We don't see it directly at the same time. But no, Besiata Dishmaya. So, 
that at that moment channels are open towards this world. You understand? There are blocks in our channels that come to us because of us, because of our emotions and our imaginary uh, emotions. Because sometimes we think people don't like us, this is an, against us. This causes a block, blocks the light of Hashem that comes toward us. It comes from the evil inclination. Maybe I don't deserve, why should Hashem do it for me? No, all of this is, uh, is a curtain what? that separates us from the light that comes, because Hashem what? is merciful, Hashem is truth. Hashem pours upon us His eternal light, but we are the ones that block it with our emotional thoughts. We'll speak about it in a minute. You'll see through Noah, Bezrat Hashem. So we cause the block. So if we cleanse our thoughts, and when we say, Baruch Ata Hashem, blessed are you Hashem, and we pose, we just visualize the combination of the name of Hashem, Yud Kei and the combination of the name of Hashem, and Yasher, the name of Hashem of repentance, okay? We open channels of Parnasa, of income, of health, of uh, children, of Besiat uh, Adishma marriages, everything that we want is all open, not only for us, for Kalal Israel and the whole world. That's how it's open. Because we are in the physical world, we are in the physical world, and what happens is we forget that we are combined of a spiritual part and a physical part. So Besiat Adishma, let's. So this is the combination of the name of Hashem for this coming month, Mar Cheshvan, Shabbat Lelein Tova. And know that this month, Mar Cheshvan, you remember we are in Parashat Noach and Hashem saw that the generation is corrupted. En chadash tachat Hashemesh. King Solomon says there's nothing new under the sun. Look what's happening today. There's very confused people that do very... Um, wicked things, even mm -hmm. to children, and uh, unbelievable what's happening. Yeah. So this is called, this is a sick part. It comes from the evil inclination. When a person falls in um, imaginations that are not true, and he builds a whole building that doesn't have any uh, legs to stand on. So this generation, Hashem saw that all of their thoughts are only evil. So Hashem decided to wipe out the generation. Can you imagine? To wipe out, this is the second time that the world shh, is blocked, is wiped out with water. The first time was with the generation of Enosh. This is the second time, the generation of Noah. But now we're going to learn a few things. This is very important. And please, the, the, the thoughts, this is very important. We're going to learn from, uh, from the uh, ark that Noah Hashem gave him. Oh, and the flood stopped on Mar Cheshvan. Okay, on the month of Cheshvan. Why? So Bnei Sachar says because the, temp the third temple is going, the opening of the third temple is going to be celebrated on this month. Amen. The month of Mar Cheshvan. That belongs, that belongs to, to Menashe, the, the tribe of Menashe is under the, the month of Mar Cheshvan. We had a whole lesson about this. Ephraim, Binyamin, and Menashe. I won't go to it now because this is beautiful. We'll learn today from Rabbi Nachman and Breslin. And with the Chishdushim that Hashem wants us to, to give. So Hashem told, tells Noah exactly how to build the ark. And he tells him, make a window. You, should, you shall make a window for the ark. And then he say, it says, and you'll make a, 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 an opening for the ark on, on, its, on the side. Okay, look what we can learn from this. How the Torah is so beautiful and the wisdom of Hashem is unbelievable. Look how we can learn from this. And this is very important. First of all, we should know that it's written in Masechet Shabbat, and it's also Masechet Yomah, that the seal of Hashem, Ushpanka the Kutcha Berichu, is truth. Hashem is all about truth. We just finished Bereshit, and it says Bereshit bara Elokim. In the beginning, Hashem recreated. The end letters is the seal of Hashem. He puts his seal because Bereshit is, ends with Tav, bara with Aleph, Elokim with Mem, Emet. This is truth. Truth in Hebrew is Emet. Okay, so if we cling to the truth, 
we cleanse ourselves from the evil inclination because there's a fight inside it between the good inclination and the evil inclination. So because this is the first shoe of the year, Bezat Hashem, so, uh, so we, we can uh, speak about it and learn from this, how do we cling to the truth? So what happens, we see also today, a lot of people are confused. And it says, the Gemara says, Ein adam avera, that the person does not sin unless a, a, a spirit of foolishness comes into him. Why? Because the truth is everything that Hashem wants. And Hashem says that I gave in front of you the blessing and I gave in front of you a curse. If you follow my way, you'll be blessed. And if you don't follow my way, you'll be cursed. Why? Because you're, uh, there's no in-between. You're following the way of the evil inclination. Okay? And he's, uh, and what he wants is to take all of our mitzvot, all of the commandments that we follow, all the good deeds that we do, in order to get livelihood to him, because he doesn't have any livelihood except from us. When we, do a, uh, we follow a commandment, we do a good deed, and then we sin, we have pride, or we speak about someone, or we get angry, he has the permission to take, and this is his livelihood. So his livelihood, there's no existence to impurity without purity. Understand? There's no existence. En kiyum lechosat letum'ah im en kedusha. So en kiyum leze. So we see over here that only when a spirit of foolishness comes into a person, then he falls into the hands of the evil inclination. So it says, pay attention, this is beautiful. Tzohar Ta'asela Teva, Rashi says, so what is Tzohar Ta'asela Teva, window you should make? So he says, some of the Mepharshim says, it's a halom, it's a window. And some Mepharshim say, it's Eben Tova. Even tova, um, a precious stone, which means that a precious, a, during the day, the precious stones, you didn't see the light of the precious stone, but at night, you saw the light, so you knew when it's light or, or when it's um, at the day or night. And some say it was really a window that, that was in the ark. Okay, it's a teva. As I said, Rabbi Ranachan and Bresler, in in Chelek Aleph, chapter 1, Kuf Yud Bet, 112, a beautiful thing. I have to give you this because we learn from this a lot and how to, how to react to things that happen to us. So he says like this, that the en shum tum'a v'sit ra'ach ra ba'olam shelo yesham tachim l'tzet misham rak she'en ro'im otam mechamat godel ha'chashkut she'yesham so there's no uh, impurity. There's no impurity. And, and there's no, no darkness without gates to go out of it. But people who are, who are inside are, uh, are sirim, are prisoners of the evil inclination they cannot see because they have a, a ruach shtut, a foolishness, a, a spirit of foolishness that, that is in them they cannot see. The only thing they can see is the things of the evil inclination. So look how beautiful it is. He says, Tzor Ta'asel teva, which means you, you have to make a, 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 a hole in the, in the Teva, in the Ark, in the Teva, in your body, in, in, in your ex, as, as a human being, in your existence, in order to find the truth, okay? Because there's always Petah. So it, it says, uh, it's a Kohelet, we just learned Kohelet on Sukkot, and it says, So the foolish person walks in darkness. King Solomon says, You see it also now, all over. Yeah. How is he walking in darkness? Because he doesn't see anything. And even the answers that people answer you, you see how foolish they are. It's unbelievable to see it. So why? because they forgot where they came from and where they're going to. They forgot the purpose in this world. So we, first of all, we have to remember that we are passengers in this world. We came for a fixing. A person that is in darkness, it's because he forgot. Darkness in Hebrew is a choshech. That he forgot where he came from and where he's going. Shachach, forgot. 
furthermore, it becomes more serious, Rukichesh, that he denies all of the good things that he receives from Hashem. Like people who deny all of the good things that they receive from the Jewish people. Mamash deny it, ignore it. Zekichesh, a person who denies and is ungrateful for the good things that he receives. And it starts from the family unit, even among children, that they, didn't, that they, they don't appreciate what the parents give them and they think that they deserve it. You, gave, you brought me into this world, you, you owe me. You have to give me, you have to, that's why from the, when a child is born, from, well, from the moment that he's a, a, a baby, you teach him gratefulness. Nothing is obvious. It's not obvious that we have free air to breathe. That's not obvious. Look at sick people. They don't have free air to breathe. They have to be with an oxygen balloon. So it's not obvious. It's not obvious that we have a, a, a cheshek, a, a will to eat something. There are people that are sick that don't want to eat anything. It, nothing is obvious. It's not obvious that we can walk on our feet on our legs and go and work and do mitz and follow the commandments and do good deeds, nothing is obvious. Everything we should be grateful to Hashem. So a person who denies the good things that he gets from Hashem, from his parents, from the people that surround him, his siblings and the people that, like the people who deny all the great things that Hashem gave through the children of Israel, comes to forgetness then he doesn't even forget that he got some, even though he, uh, they use everything, all the patents and all, all of the uh, inventions that the children of Israel brought to this world, but they forget where they got them from. And this is darkness. This is just like the plague of darkness in Egypt. In Egypt, they had a plague of darkness with thickness. You could feel the thickness of the darkness. They, they, People were standing next to each other. They didn't see each other totally. That's how there was thickness. Why? Because they ignored and denied all of the good things that Yosef and Tzadik did to them. Like nothing happened. So this is Choshev. And it says, in order that will open the darkness and, and open a, you know, a, 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 a small opening that the light of Hashem will come in, it says in chapter 119 in Tehillim, which means that the words that you say will, will illuminate for the ones that are foolish. Okay? So let, let's now let's see how, it, uh, how this all combines together. So we see that the ark, Hashem tells him, you shall, ma you shall make a window. Okay, Rashi says a window, one, uh, one interpretation is window, literally, and the other one is Eben Toba, that he brought um, uh, precious stones into the ark. Okay, what does it mean, Rabbi Nachman Bresla says, so that in order to open an opening, that the light of Hashem will come to you, because in order to do tshuva, to repent, and in order to get away from all of this confusion that we have in this world, we have to cling to the truth, because truth is God. Truth is God, everything that God, God created the world. So everything that he told us in the Torah, in the Bible, is how that we will have an, a healthy society, because we are all, all of humanity is one family. All of us are one family. The children of Israel are the firstborns of Hashem. So it says, how do we open an opening? So it says over here, the opening of, of your words will illuminate. How do we do that? So Rabbi Nathan Memresla says a beautiful thing. There's truth, there's emet, there's emet la'amita. So there's truth, and there's truth of truth, of absolute truth. Okay, a person who is true to Hashem and the children of Israel, which means he, you have to be connected to God 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How can you be connected? Because we, the evil intonation that, that, that doesn't leave us, and we fall, we get angry with this, we get hurt from this, and we forget 
who sent all of these people? Who's, who does all of this to us? Is Hashem. There's a, a script that Hashem wrote to each and every human being in the world. Why? Because we came for a fixing. So there's a script. It's like we're in our own movie. Each and every one of us. And it's a, it's, it's meduyak. meduyak. Precise. Precise to each and every, to do the fixing. Bezrat Hashem. Everything is okay? Can you... Yeah, just like... Can you make it... Um, recording is working. Yeah, the recording is working. Are you closing? Okay. So anyway, so we have a script for each and every one of us. If, Bezrat Hashem, like we come to the Shul Torah, then we get this energy that will keep us the whole week and we think about Hashem 24-7. And then even if we fall, we pick ourselves immediately. So a person who is connected to Hashem the whole day with everything that he does, when we bake, when we cook, when we do, when we do, when, when we do the laundry, everything, when we take care of the children, we say, Hashem, thank you for the children, even though sometimes they make us angry, but we thank you, Hashem, there are people who don't have children. Thank you, Hashem, for everything that you gave us. Nothing is obvious. Thank you, Hashem. So and I will thank you for all these emotions that will do the fixing. So if we remember Hashem and we cling to Him and, be, and become one with Hashem, and it's, it's, we're working on ourselves 24-7. That's why we came to this world. And when we do this, then we are considered even tova, a precious stone. What is the difference between a precious stone and a window? A precious stone has its own light. A precious stone has its own light. The window doesn't have any light. The sun that comes through the window brings the light, but the window itself doesn't have any light. So a person that clings to the truth, that clings to the truth and, and is connected to Hashem, he becomes a precious stone, which means he is the light. The light comes from him because it comes, becomes one with Hashem. And the eternal light of Hashem is always above him. The divine presence is always above him. Can you imagine? So he's the light. He doesn't need another person to lit him, okay, to kindle him. He is the light. But the person that fell, that fell already with the evil inclination, and so what does he do? Divurim shelemet, speech of truth. And what is a dibur shelemet? So I, I heard that, you know, from Arab um, Ofer Erez, I think, Shalita, I, th I heard from something beautiful. Because he says, what is a dibur shelemet? He says that somebody came to him and he was addicted to drugs. And he was clean from drugs. He has children and everything is good. But then the evil inclination came to him and he wanted to go and buy drugs. And, and, and he, he came to the rabbi and he says, I don't know what to do, but I feel this urge. This is the evil inclination. And my, my, my wife sent me to, to buy um, things for the babies, but I feel that I need to buy drugs instead of this. So he says, you need help from Hashem. How do you get the help from Hashem? Just like Rabbi Nachman Mibrasev says, you have to cling to the truth. Tell Hashem, Hashem, you know, I have such a fight with myself. I have money to buy food for the children, and instead of this, the evil inclination, it's all right, it's not me, wants me to buy drugs. When you say the truth, you speak emet, truth, this is emet, it's truth with Hashem, immediately the light of Hashem comes into you. Hashem ori ve'ishi, you read it in chapter 27 in Tehillim. Hashem is my light and my salvation. When you cling, because, the seal of Hashem is truth. Hashem is truth. God is truth. So when you cling to the truth, even if you, you want to do something that is not right, once you take it out of your mouth and you tell Hashem, because you cling to the truth, Hashem will give you help. Because you need help. So Hashem will shia. Hashem will give me salvation. So once you do so. This is a person that is considered chalot. 
kalon, which means a window. Why? Because he has to go to the rabbi, to somebody to, uh, to il il illuminate? Illuminate. illuminate him in order to help him to overcome the evil inclination. But how can you do that? Only with, uh, with the speech of truth. To tell the truth to Hashem anyway. There's an eye that sees, an ear that listens, and all of our actions are written in the book. Hashem knows everything. Eventually, all of us, if we came into the world, we are now in the train. Hashem is the driver. We don't know when we go out of the train, on what stop we go out. So anyway, we're going to start at the stand in front of the court of heaven. And they will show us all everything that we need, every word that we took out of our mouth everything and we can't say it's not true you will admit that everything is true because every night when we sleep and it's 1 60th of death part of our soul goes up to the court of heaven and gives judgment over everything that we did and every word that we said and we sign it abraham is old and he comes with all of his days of his life he has a book we also have a book each and every one of us. It's only imaginary that we think that Hashem, that, you know, I see people that they cling to this world and they fight over uh, work, that uh, th this is uh, uh, emulating me, and this is stealing from me. He opened his store ju just next to me in order to take my customers. Everything is nonsense. It's nonsense because we, are, uh, uh, who provide for us? God, Hashem. He provides for us, and there's exactly the amount and everything that we need for our fixing. One needs a castle, and one needs a hut to, sit, to sleep in. Everybody has exactly what he needs, and we're just passing through just to do the fixing. What a shame if we have missed the goal in this world. So a person who needs the help from another person in order to be elim you, uh, eliminated, Illuminated. 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 That's good. Everybody's awake. Illuminated. So then it means that he's, he's compared to a window. But look how beautiful it is. It's the beginning. So how do we know? So he's, he's compared to, the, to a window. But a person that, uh, a, that clings to Hashem all the time, He's a precious, he, in, he's a precious, uh, uh, compared to a precious stone, because the light comes from the, uh, from inside. His soul is the light. Like Rabbi Mir Balanes. Rabbi Mir Balanes was called Rabbi Nohorai. And the, the, our sages changed his name, Meir, that he called, he, he lit the souls of, of God Israel, and, and his soul, uh, the light of his soul was, uh, was seen to everyone. So let's look at the other part. It says, So the, uh, the, opening, the, uh, the opening of the ark is in the, uh, the side of the ark. What does it mean? Look how beautiful it is. So we know the letter Chet, right? Okay, this is the letter Chet. And Chet comes from sin. You know, in Hebrew, Chet is sin, right? Why? Because all of its opening is down, down it, which means to help, to do the things that are not good. This, uh, it goes down. So Hashem, it says in Tehillim, chapter, uh, chapter 68, it says, uh, verse 31, G'ar chayat kane, that Hashem was uh, rebuked, okay, the chet, in order to open a path. Where did Hashem rebuke her? To open a path over here. Okay, and from this we came to the letter K. So now if you want to do tshuva, you go through the side of the ark, ya teva. Teva literally in Hebrew means also a word. Okay, so you go to the side of the letter K over here, go up in order to do tshuva. Over here is a person who sins, but over here, the hay is open in order to give up a space for people who want to do tshuva besiyat adishmaya. That's why the petach ateva betzida. So the petach is on the side. Can you believe it? So beautiful. So let's see. Let's see if this, if this is logical. Everything together. So look how Hashem loves us. Mr. Kru. Let's see if I have another color. 
So I will look at Sohar Tasel Ateva. Okay? So you make a window to the Teva, which means a word also. I will look at the last letters of each word. Okay? What do we have over here? Reish is 200. Hey is five. Hey is five. And okay, how much is it together? 210, which means 21 multiplied by 10. 21 is the name of Hashem of Tshuva, to repent. You see how it's all connected? 21 is Ehiyah Asher Aleph is one, He is five, the letter Yud is 10, the letter He, another letter He is five, it's 21. This is the name of Hashem of Tshuva, repentance, Dikdusha. Now let's go and see this. So now we are going to the, uh, uh, the beginning letters, okay? Look how beautiful it is. Let me, let's see if this works. Okay, it's a tzaddik, a taf, and a lamin. So we have tzaddik, this, uh, we had a um, reish. We had over here, reish hey hey, okay? And this, the, end le the beginning letters is Tzadik, and we have Taf and Lamin. Tzadik is 90, Taf is, five, uh, is 400, and Lamin is 30. How much is it together? It's 520. Uh -huh, 520. Mm -hmm. Okay. 520 is 20 times the name of Hashem of mercy. Beautiful. 20 times, multiplied by 26, UK Vavke, is 520. What is 20 in, uh, in numerical value is the letter Chaf. What is Chaf? It's Keter, crown. Wow. So in order, Be'ezrat Hashem, to bring Mashiach closer, Be'ziyat Adishmaya, we cling to the crown, for, because we, from the crown, all of the internal light of Hashem comes towards us. Be'ziyat Adishmaya, look how beautiful it is. So all of the light of Hashem comes towards us, nachon? Okay, from the crown, Keter. If we don't listen to Hashem, the Keter becomes Karet, to eliminate Chas V'Shalom, God forbid. It's the same letters. But if we listen to Hashem, this is 20 times the name of Hashem of mercy. Sohar ta'asela teva, you should make a window to the, to the ark. A window, what does it mean? A window through, that it can save you, that your prison of the evil inclination can save you from the evil inclination by speaking words of truth. By speaking the petach ateva betzida, by, by saying words of and even words of truth means that even if you do something that you know that Hashem doesn't like, but once you start saying it, then Hashem immediately gives it, because Hashem knows you want His help. Hashem, Hashem loves us. He's all about truth and mercy. That's God. There's no a person that can be merciful like God. En kazebaolam. There's nothing in this world. Hashem, even though we sometimes don't listen to him and, he, uh, and we anger him, but still he provides everything that we need and he's waiting patiently for each and every one of us. We don't have this patience towards each other. If we get angry with somebody, if somebody told us something or looked at us at the wrong way, <laughs> so immediately we don't have this patience. It's appropriate that the person will emulate his creator by his 13 attributes of mercy. Can you imagine? So in order to be to, to be a precious stone, which means this is a, a absolute truth, to cling to absolute truth. But, but when we are already inside the evil inclination, then we are just like a window. That's why we come and we listen to Shul Torah and again and again in order to help us to wake up and have the tools how to, how to cleanse ourselves and come closer to Hashem in order that after we finish 
after a long night in this world, that we will have the schut to be under the throne of Hashem. Amen. So this is even speaking the truth about things that we Hashem doesn't like. But once we tell him, Hashem, it's not us. It's even inclination. Please help us. Please. Ana Hashem Oshiana. Once we do that, immediately from, uh, from heaven, the eternal light of Hashem comes and helps us overcome the challenge that we are inside. But we have to cling to the truth. So there's truth and there's the absolute truth. So Bezrat Hashem, I would like to bless all of us that we will have a, a, a year of shalom, a year that we will have the schut to, to see Malchut Shamayim, Malchut Beit David, Beminyan Beit Hamidash Hashim Bimrav Yaminu Amin. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom, the kingdom of King David, and the building of the third temple. Because the celebration of the building of the third temple is in Mar Cheshvan, in this month that comes on Enu Netova. So Bezrat Hashem, Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael Netuni Batzara Ubashvi Yom Dim Ben Bayam Uben Bayabasha. המקום ירחם עליהם, ויוצא מצרה לרווחה, ומאפלה לאורה, משיבוד לגאולה, שתה בעד לו, בזמן קריב יימרו, אמן. And dear ladies, everything בעזרת השם is also that all of the captured will come back home now. Amen. Thank you, בעזרת השם.